What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. It is everybody's favorite day Friday, which means a new content update. We got new headliners, we got tons of new moments, we got um, a roster update, we have a patch that happened earlier today. We have so much stuff that's not waste any time. And get right into the roster update. I have not seen anything, I have no idea what's going on, so hopefully we see some good stuff. Cody Bellinger getting a plus 2 to an 87 overall, plus 12 arm to an 84, plus 5 and 8 contact, plus 2 and 5 power. This card is that Bellinger is insane now. He, I'm glad I picked him up when he did because I think his price is going to start rising quite a bit. So, really happy that Bellinger went up. Yeah, so Puig went down minus one, which I do think is deserved. Unfortunately, he is one of my more favorite players in the league, but he's just struggling with Cincinnati right now. Max Kepler getting a plus three for the hot Minnesota Twins, except they got smacked by my Rays last night. Um, plus three and 14 contact and five and six power. Austin Meadows getting the jump over to Silver. Like to see that plus three and five uh, contact and three power as well. Fremio Reyes getting a plus 11 power versus right. And Alex Vertigo getting a much needed upgrade up to a 72. In center field, we got Byron Buxton getting a plus 9 and 13 versus lefties plus 5 vision. Gatel Marte moves over to, I don't know if he's in center field before, but he is now. Uh, plus 9 and 14 power. He is hitting for a lot more power that year, so that, or this year, so that is good. And Odebel Herrera, who obviously recently got arrested, and he went down as well, so... That's a yikes from me. On to left field, we are seeing Andrew Benintendi getting a minus one, minus three and eight contact, minus five vision. Um, Joey Gallo getting a plus one to gold. You love to see it. He didn't get a vision upgrade. I thought maybe, but five and eight contact. It's going to be pretty damn good. I'm really happy that Gallo got the jump. And Jock Peterson now one away from a gold. Um, you guys can see really good splits versus righty. 68 and 95 power now after a plus 3 and 5 respectively. And then Clint Frazier getting a plus 4 upgrade to a 69. Center Bogarts now up to an 83 minus 3 but plus 5 contact left. Plus 11 con uh, power left as well. Um, so he's getting close to diamond tier. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe that's going to be a low tier investment. Know that Arenado does go up. Um, he gets plus 7 contact right, plus 5 vision, like I said. I kind of saw that. I wish he got some power right, but it is still cool nonetheless. Bregman loses contact left, but he gains 10 and 7 power, hitting him for a lot more pop this year, so that's good to see. He's going to be a lot better in Diamond Dynasty, I think, now. Rendon gets plus 4 power both sides, plus, plus 5 lefties. Uh, contact, minus 3 vision. Matt Chapman getting the jump over to Diamond, plus 1, getting plus 10 power versus lefties. I was saying on stream, some people said, how is he going to go up? That is how he's going to go up. He's hitting lefties for power, and he gets the jump to Diamond. Obviously, his hitting still is not the best, but it's because he has that diamond uh, fielding to help him out. 99 fielding, much deserved in my opinion. Chris Bryant, um, no attribute upgrade, but does get some changes. Minus 7 contact left, but some plus 2 and 3 power and plus 5 vision. So in my opinion, that is a good thing for him. A Helio Suarez, plus 4 and 5 power up to an 81. Devers gets the jump to silver, 8 and 5 contact and plus 4 vision. Um, Michael Chavez gets an upgrade as well. Very good rookie for the uh, Red Sox this year. Uh, plus eight and seven power so he's he has some pretty good power now 70 and 73 for sure Glaber Torres does get the jump to gold I wasn't exactly sure if they would because um, his splits were a little inverse with how his stats were before but he gets a plus 15 power versus righty's jump insane I um, mean he is going to go up to an 80 overall Anthony Rizzo gets the jump to diamond as well so it looks like we are right like we were saying on stream I said these two are the guys who are going diamond Anthony Rizzo and Matt Chapman he does get a minus six lefty contact which i did predict but he gets a plus four and nine versus righties and a plus two power versus lefties so he's going to be not as usable for lefties but he's going to be a righty killer pretty freeman gets a plus one if you guys have been in the streams recently you've been watching my gameplays i love this card to death and he's going to be even better now plus seven power versus lefties and three vision josh bell gets a plus three i knew he was going to go gold for sure and damn does he deserve it he is hitting insane ops of over 1100 Plus six contact per side, plus eight and seven power, minus two vision. Very good and very needed upgrade um, for Josh Bell. Carlos Santana gets the jump to gold. Interesting there. Um, he definitely deserves it. I didn't exactly see it quite yet, however. Plus six contact left, plus six power right, and minus five power lefties. Danny Murphy drops down to a silver. I had him on my downgrades. I didn't think they were going to move him all the way down. Minus 11 contact right, plus two contact left, and then some power downgrades as well. CJ Crone killing it for the Minnesota Twins. Plus nine and 13 contact and uh, power versus lefties. Eric Hosmer getting a plus one to a 
577. Derek Dietrich, plus 15 power burst is right. Much deserved. Of course, he has been really surprising this year. Jesus Aguilar getting a minus 3. JT Ryumuto gets uh, plus 10 splits versus lefties. Um, and only minus 4 contact versus righties. So I think that is a good upgrade for him. Gary Sanchez gets up to goal, plus 8 and 3 power. This card is going to be a terror online everybody's going to be using him i can already tell he's many grand dog it's a plus one to an 82 um plus eight and six uh splits versus lefties respectively anything else Alberto osuna goes up to an 83 so does uh kirby yates he gets a plus four hit nine plus 10 home runs per nine and roberto osuna plus four hit nine and one walk nine so those two i think those are both pretty good low tier investments for diamond closing pitchers later on this year andrew miller goes down to gold okay so i'm definitely completing the cardinals now um i think it's deserved he's not having a good year he struggled a lot last year with cleveland and he's not having a good year st louis um so he's getting down minus two to an 83 matt barnes jumps up to gold a plus two to an 80 um pat nisha goes down to a 76 for starters jacob de grom goes down to an 88 um so he is getting a minus three hit nine minus two k nine minus three walk nine patrick corbin a plus one to an 83 plus six hit nine hinjin ryu a plus two honestly might be the dodgers best pitcher this year pitching insane plus six hit nine plus four walk then matt boyd gets a plus two to an 80 as i predicted plus five hit nine plus three k nine plus four walk nine jake odorizzi a plus two to a 79 a lot of guys getting upgrades Brad peacock up to a 79 one away from gold as is odorizzi Miner getting a plus one to a 77. Luke Weaver getting a plus two. Uh, Mike Soroka, a lot of people um, were high on him. Very good rookie for the Braves, getting a plus two to a 73. Otherwise, uh, G. Lito gets a plus two to a 73. But two brand new diamonds, very interesting. Like I said, I didn't think a lot of people are still speculating on Acuna. I don't think they're going to upgrade Acuna until he deserves a hitting upgrade. I know his defense is deserving, but right now, I just do not quite think that his. Um, I don't think that his uh, field or his hitting stats are deserving of an upgrade quite yet. Two brand new headliners. First, Dustin Pedroia, as you guys might have saw on the SDS stream yesterday. 110 and 115 contact, 71, 70 power, 119 vision, 90 fielding, 89 reaction, 69 speed, 77 uh, stealing. I'm probably going to try him out. I sold Roberto uh, Alomar to not really, I was not a fan of him. I'm going to try out Pedroia, see how that works. And then there we go. is our other headliner right here. 113, 94 contact, 104, 86 power, 103 vision. Um, 80 fielding 64 speed i was watching a video by movie gaming tv shout out to him um he said this car looks a lot like duke schneider and i have to agree he looks very duke schneider-esque um he has a very good swing i used his uh career art card last year he's really nice i'll consider picking him up i don't know how much these two are going to settle at but i'll both consider them um i will be having a pack opening later on tonight so make sure to stick out on the lookout for that we do have new moments once again the third inning program moments the last set of those including a set 10 headliner pack so that is very interesting right there make sure you do this get that free set 10 headliner packs i believe it's one of 10 odds at a diamond so really there's no point not to there's also some good xp about 9,000 xp for completing these and it is great to do if you do not have your third inning program done i do want to quickly say if you guys have not um so if you guys are consider selling your third inning program card i would do that now because they are going to drop in price now that those rest of the moments are in the game so i really would recommend that that. I believe there is tops now moments as well alongside Paul Spore's new moment card um, if you look over here we have the 90 overall future star Nick Senzel um, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen the stats by now but we'll go over it quickly like I said there is so much content we also got new battle royale flawless rewards it's a 99 Willie McCovey and a 96 Felix Hernandez it'll probably be a little bit until we see those cards on the market and I guess I can't actually show him because he's not discovered yet but you guys have probably seen if not i'll throw a screenshot on the screen right quick um i guess we can briefly go over the new uh these cards if you guys have not seen them yet uh, like i said these are 12 and 0 flawless battle right hour rewards william mccovey 103 89 contact 116 99 power 99 vision 63 fielding 39 speed he looks like a walmart frank thomas not a big fan of that card right there i mean it's good but you know he's probably going to be going for way more than he really should be this felix card looks nice i'm not gonna lie uh, 114 stamina, 90 hit 9, 96 K9, 88 walk 9, 99 velo, 96 breaks, sinker, change of fastball, uh, sliding curveball, and a slider. Really love his pitches, and he's gonna throw almost at 100 miles per hour. If you see that 98 mile per hour fastball, usually you can go up one to two miles per hour faster than that. And he has a 50 mile an hour drop off from that changeup. 
it's gonna be expensive but I would really like to eventually get that Felix card like I said so much content we also did to get new tops now moments as well um, so make sure the duos get your vouchers because next week coming out is the tops now packs and then the player of the month pack so make sure to stick on the lookout for that big content update let me know down below in the comment section what was your favorite part added in this update and yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you like double hope you guys are great today there goes some out yay love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and i can hardly wait earth is a prison i need a great escape you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone you know i'm in my zone i took a bite of the glory